Hey, what's going on, Fight Fans? Hey, this is Coach D, the Wild Man, coming at you again with another episode of MMA Fight Camp. All right, you know I do an MMA Fight Camp. I talk about all things MMA from the pro scene to the local scene. Like I always tell you, I want the best interviews. I want the best stories. I want things that matter. I want people to know there's great people out there doing great things, supporting the sport of MMA, and letting the world know what we do. Now, Lanisha Vincent, the She-Hulk, you know what she does, you know what she does, is not people out. So she's been growing in the sport, you know she just won gold in IMAF, so I had a chance to reach out and find out that she's now getting the support she needs, she's now getting the backing to help her get to the next level that she needs to be as one of our up-and-coming stars. So here today I'm talking with Anthony Norwood. Anthony has a, has a great story, he, he's He's a man who's built it from the ground up, and now he's supporting the, the sport of MMA, and I want to hear more about him. So I brought him on the air so you guys can hear about him too. So, Anthony, what's going on, brother? What's going on, man? How you doing? I'm doing great. So catch this yeah. up, man. What What is a a coach of, of, of personal training getting into the sport of MMA? What made that happen? So uh, let me let me give you a quick background of Last Strike Fitness and, and the company that I, that I'm the owner of. So okay, you know um, the company started five years ago. Um, initially, I just started off posting online videos of me working out, doing like extreme crazy stuff. People were like, man, you crazy for doing that type of workout? Mm-hmm. But you know, I did it because it was fun. So someone reached out to me and said, hey, can I train with you? Okay, that's fine. Let's do this. So the young lady came in and trained with me, and then she said, hey, you should be a personal trainer. And I was like, oh, no, not happening. Not my thing, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, I was like, you know what? Okay, let's give it a try. So I went and got the formal education, got certified, uh, became nutritionist and all that good stuff, and then started training her. I, and, and, you know, for word of mouth, you know, because I didn't have any marketing at the time. I was just, mm-hmm. I started off training, started off training, charging people like 30 bucks a month. <laughs> Cause I didn't know what to do. I didn't know. Yeah. I was like, okay, I'm just take thirty dollars. I didn't know, and plus I had fun doing it. Yeah. But then as I as I, I as I grew in the industry, you know, my clientele grew. Yeah. So once my clientele grew, I started expanding across the country. Mm-hmm. You know, I, my first location, other than where I am now, was in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, that was my first location outside of where I am. And now today we have seven different locations. Across the United States, uh, Last Strike Fitness. You know, we have, like I said, we have strong men on the team. We have um, uh, uh, wrestlers. We have uh, boxing coaches. We have all all types of fitness levels that you know. And we we provide that across the United States. Okay, so so you so you've evolved over time. So you're not just focused on personal training, your sports mm-hmm. performance. You know, your you know your hits, your hit style. So you cover a lot of different genres of personal training. Yes, sir. Gotcha, gotcha, we, gotcha. We do it all. We do it like so. And each location is different. Mm-hmm. So, for example, if you go down to Austin, Texas, right, um, you'll see like we have a Pilates and and yoga, you know, mm-hmm. and then you know down in another part of Houston, you have more of the um, strongman and um, powerlifting going on. Okay, you know, up in in in, in Baltimore with Mister Larkin. He he um, caters to the youth, mm-hmm. you know, and he's a, he also is a, a great runner. So, mm-hmm. and then with me, I start off I start off like doing hit training. Mm-hmm. I was my forte, hit training. Yeah. Right. Right now we have um, Miss JB Powerhouse. That's her. Um, that's her uh, Facebook name, JB Powerhouse. She's a, a professional bodybuilder, so mm-hmm. she trains bodybuilders for us. You know, mm-hmm. so we we have a lot of things going. We also we're the strength and conditioning coaches for the K Fair Heroes here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Okay. okay, yeah. All right, so so hey, so hey, you're building your brand, man. It's, it's obvious. So so let's so let's get into the to the meat of the conversation. What 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 drew you to MMA? What what got what got that particular look? I'm looking at MMA now. What what made that happen? <laughs> so. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you, be honest. I hadn't even looked at MMA. I mean, I'm a big MMA fan. Yeah. But I didn't even know how to get into that industry, and I hadn't even thought about it. But mm-hmm. someone came to me and was like, "Hey, you need to check this young lady out." Mm-hmm. He was referring to Lanisha, and I was like, "Okay." So, and I looked at, I looked at her videos. I, you know, started watching her on uh, social media. I said, "All right." So we, uh, he linked us two together. A guy named um, 
Mike uh, Mason, Mike DJ Mike Love. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he linked us together, and she and I talked. And uh, you know, and I was like, okay, this I think this is a good idea because she told me about you know how she wanted to break into the pro scene and you know how <clears throat> she's been you know fighting the amateur uh, realm for a while. She's doing really well, and I was like, okay, I can get behind her. You know, mm-hmm. I, you know, how do I get behind her? So we <clears throat> had to take to the drawing board, talk to, um, you know, even though I'm the owner and the founder of this, I do have people that I work with and, you know, with the decision making. I don't just yeah. jump and make decisions. Yeah. So I, I, I let them know. I said, look, this is what's on the table. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so we came with a plan in order to, <clears throat> excuse me, in order to uh, get behind Lanisha the way, you know, she should be taken care of, you know, mm-hmm. especially for the financial standpoint. Yeah. Uh, you know, cause uh, any up and coming fighter or any up, up and coming athlete for that matter needs that backing, you yeah. know, so they don't have to come out of pocket for everything. Cause that stuff gets expensive. Yeah. So we came up with a plan and we said, okay, this is what we can offer. And, you know, I talked it over with her and she also had me talk to her coaches. Mm-hmm. We talked to them and everybody loved the idea. So that's how we started, uh, you know, uh, sponsoring Lanisha. Mm-hmm. And I um I got the privilege to come down and watch her train at her gym. Well, the gym she trains out of a Spartan Academy. Mm-hmm. I got to come down and watch her train, and you know that right there solidified the decision. You know mm-hmm. when I made that trip down to actually meet her and met her coaches and saw her train, I said, "Oh yeah, this is the one of the best decisions ever made for Last Strike Fitness." Mm-hmm. And I think the great part is, is a fight fans who who don't know, a lot of people don't know how Lanisha got started. They just know the highlight reel knockouts, and you know, you know, she she just she just is five foot two, you know, beast of a killer. But like I said, you give give me some of her backstory. I'm giving you backstory too. How how Lanisha came on the scene. Um, like I said, me and me and her first initial coach. Uh, let's say everybody calls me Coach D and Lance Adams. You know, they're at the War Warehouse. We were also on the athletic commission, you know what I'm saying? So here in South Carolina, and they had an off the street boxing program, right? So we're there, you know, you know, I think it was it was it was in a club, you know how it is, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's it's all about beer and fight. That's all it's always about. Yeah. So so we over there and we like I said, we watching the fights, and and sure enough, this little tiny five foot two, you know, mean mugging girl getting the cage, right? I mean, getting the ring was a ring, right? Getting the ring, right? I said, I said, I said, okay, okay, what the hell about to go on? And then her, 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 her opponent got in the cage. Her opponent was taller, maybe 15 to 20 pounds heavier. I was like, well, okay, this little girl is going to get gonna get her butt kicked, right? I said, okay, so it's, 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 hey, let's get some popcorn. You know me, hey, a girl fight is what's up. Sure enough, when that bell rung, this girl ran across the cage and went, to fight him. I, I was like, oh my God, you know how you see a horror film? You're like, oh my God, what am I watching? Yeah. Her tenacity and, and, <clears throat> and her ferocious and non-quit mentality was like, oh my God, if we can get her in the MMA, there'll be, there'll be no stopping her. She was just raw. <clears throat> she just had an aptitude for fight without, without knowing, you know, where any training from it, if she even she had anybody, she just knew when to throw, how to throw, and how hard to throw. She was the hardest hitting female I've ever seen that yeah. wasn't on a pro level. I said, yeah. we got to get her in the gym. So, of course, yeah. you know, we, we went off our job. We walked and said, hey, look, here's our car. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if you get a chance, come to the World Warhouse and let's see, see what you got. But like I said, then a couple of days later, we kind of forgot about it. We figured, hey, she wasn't about this life. Nope. Sure enough, she showed up. She showed up. But like I said, and, 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 and the rest is history. You know, she had to learn about there's such thing as jiu-jitsu, there's such thing as kickboxing, there's such things as guys who spend all day kicking you in your face and never throw a punch, you know what I'm saying, or take you down. So she she understood there's more to fighting than just being able to hit hard. You know, and sure yeah. enough, here we are today. She went to she went to IMAF with the international platform, you know, and she won gold, you know, for by t- and still the funny part. Everything that we trained her to look for didn't matter. She beat everybody by TKO strikes. You know what I'm saying? So she said, hey, I'm going to do it my way and won. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, so we appreciate you. You definitely stepping up and, you know, and giving her support. I think she's going to be one of the greats. I definitely think she's going to be one of the greats. Yeah, I, I hope so. I hope, I hope so. I, I think she has the, the tenacity to do it. I've yeah. seen her train, man. Like I said, I watched her train. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I got to watch that. 
Mm-hmm. I was like, I was like, oh yeah, she 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 has it. And the look in her eye, man, you know what I'm saying? You can I could look at a person <clears throat> and and they let me know, and I looked them in the eye and I can know if they're serious or not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that come that comes from the business standpoint of doing last right fitting. You know, it's a lot more to just fitness and all this other, you know, it's a full-fledged business now. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I gotta be able to read people. So I'm sitting there looking at her train and sitting there talking to her and looking at her in her eye. She's the real deal. Yeah. yeah. She is the real deal. And, and you can see that fire burning in, in her eye. You know what I'm saying? When you talk to her, she has that passion. Mm-hmm. So I'm more than happy to be one of her sponsors. So so now, so now you 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 got quote unquote caught the MMA bug. I mean, are you gonna kind of look back, look more into it, or are you gonna just that, that's a special project? If that project turns out well, you might look at, you know, another <laughs> fighter, another fighter. What's, what's your plans for the future? Well, <laughs> It's funny that you asked that question. I'm actually looking to build a roster. Okay. Yeah. So my thing, is, and I talked it over with my COO. He brought, he actually brought this idea up. He's like, yeah, man, I think we ought to build a roster from this. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think it's a really good idea. I think we do that. I think that, you know, however, we're not just going to take, oh, I'm an MMA fighter, sponsor me. Yeah. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it doesn't work that way. It, you know, you have to have that fire that tenacity, that that willingness to work. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's all about your work ethic. Mm-hmm. And once we bet that, then, yeah, we got it. Mm-hmm. You know, we could talk about numbers. We could talk about how the sponsorship works. Yeah. But also, he, uh, everybody, Anthony made a very good point that, like I said, got, with me, and, you know, being Coach D and do, you know, I, I have fight camp promotion, you know, MMA fight camp. So I do fighter promotions, what I do. I teach fighters how to brand, how to understand the name of the game. And so, but all, all you fighters out there who, who like said, ooh, let me call this guy up. No, it ain't how it works. So all you're going to get is a business signal. Yeah, I said, he, <laughs> he saw the growth of Venetia. Her, 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 her knockout traveled around the world and made it to his front door. So yep. he didn't pick up the phone and found Venetia. Her social media growth found him. Yeah. So now you've got, you understand that if you ain't out there making something happen, won't nobody know about you. Because else he would never have known if that that knockout around the world didn't reach him. So that's my little plug for right there for all you up and comers who think you're gonna dial this number. They ain't, ain't gonna work like that. <laughs> that's not correct. But you know, I, I do want <clears throat> if there, you know, any fighters out there listening, <clears throat> don't be afraid to reach out. Mm-hmm. Well, don't because like the cliche says, closed mouths don't get fed. Yeah. And to every question that's not answered, the answer is always no. Mm-hmm. I mean, the question is not asked, the answer is always no. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. So you don't know until you ask that question or reach out. Mm-hmm. So don't, don't, I don't want you to get discouraged and say, well, I'm not big enough, I'm not good enough. You may not know that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm, I may see some, or one of my team members, members may see something in you that you don't see in yourself. Oh. You know yeah. what I'm saying? All right, well, hey, he just dispersed what I just said. Hey, we'll give him a holiday. Hey, he can reach out to no, him. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not going against what you just said. But what I'm saying is, like, what you said is a valid point. Yeah. Very valid. Very valid. I'm, what I'm saying is, like, you don't just because you know, say so you may not have that highlight reel, mm-hmm. doesn't mean you can't get there. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, that's a better. That's a better way to say. Can't get there. Way. You know what I'm saying? So I, I was fortunate to find Lanisha at that stage, yeah. you know, and it was a, by introduction of a of a, a mutual friend of ours. Mm-hmm. You know, someone reached out to me and introduced me to her. Mm-hmm. But you know, all you fighters out there, man, if that's something you you were looking to do, you know, I'm not saying I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that. Yeah, I'm 100 percent sponsor you off the rip, man. Mm-hmm. It's just not how it works. That goes back to what Coach Deal was talking about. But it's not. It doesn't hurt to reach out to try. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Like I said, you know, closed mouth don't get fed. In order to grow, just brand yourself. All right. So we. So uh, you. So uh, when. When you play, have you been to any events yet? Have you been to any MMA events yet? I have not, and uh, I'm gonna because I'm. I'm. I'm getting ready to leave here on Monday. I go to Afghanistan for eight months. Okay. Because I mean, I didn't put this out in the beginning. I'm still active duty military. You know, I didn't let the crowd, the, the the audience know that, but I'm still active duty. You know, still and also runs this company, but. I deploy on Monday and I'll be gone for eight months. So I'll miss her uh, upcoming events. However, I hope, hopefully I can get some of my um, 
teammate members out there or staff out there to support her in the physical. If not, you know, we'll still support her in other other means. Well, hey, well, now that we hooked up, man, I'll make sure that you get everything you need. Cause like I said, you know, I travel and I make sure I, I keep all the news going. So anything she does, the news is going to be out there. So you ain't, you ain't going to miss a beat, brother. You, you ain't yeah, going to miss a beat. Don't worry about that. Hey, I want to hey. say, hey, thank you for your service, man. That's what's up. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Uh, well, thank you for yours, too. Hey, you're an ex-Marine. Hey you, hey, you, hey, you feel it, right? Hey, <laughs> hey. Like minds get together, as you can see. Absolutely. I like it, man. I like right, it. So, so, but, so other than going to Afghanistan, what's what's next for the company? Where 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 are you got you got new markets in mind? What's next? So uh, our next thing is like, so we have the clothing line also, right? Oh, okay. Okay. And um, you know, our website, you go on the website order, and all, and my thing is to grow that. It's to grow the website, uh, the clothing line, and also we have a, a app coming out in the next six months. So that it'll be a fitness app you know, coming out in the next six months. Um, for people to go online, they can look at, they can take the app, they can go look at daily workouts. Mm-hmm. Uh, they'll be able to track their their, their body fat, uh, track their macros for people who understand what macros are. They'll be able to go track their macros, you know, and track their daily workout and, and track the, pro- the progression of their of their, uh, their goals they're trying to reach. Okay. All right, that's what's up. Hey, you see, hey. People are doing big things that you ain't know. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, when they, when they, when they, when Coach D hears about it, I'm gonna make sure the world knows too, because it's it definitely what it is. So, uh, so Anthony, once again, give us your name, give us your title, and give us your company. Yeah, but Anthony D. Norwood. I'm the owner and CEO of Last Strike Fitness. Um, my uh, email for the, you fighters out there, or anybody who wants to reach out to me, uh, catch me on email is um, laststrikefitness at gmail.com. Or you can uh, hit me on Instagram at Last Strike Fitness on Instagram. Also on Facebook. Um, yeah, that's about it, man. And um, I just look forward to, you know, work, jumping into the MMA scene, man, because I, I, I'm really liking this so far. You know, it's something new and exciting. And, and I think this is a, a good direction for our company to go into. And let me, I'll, I'll tell you this, brother. It's addicting. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> I can tell. Once you go to a show and... You, and the energy get there, it's a wrap. It's, it's a wrap. You would like I said you will be stuck, brother. If you was like, okay, I'm gonna walk with, oh, go into this slow after a first show, you all full speed ahead, brother. You ain't gonna be the slow hey, now. You hey, be- watching her train and just walking into there, watching everybody do the jujitsu, kickboxing, and all that good stuff. I was hooked then. Yeah, okay. I was what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> what's so, all right, yeah. everybody fans, like I said, me and Anthony, we're going to stay in touch. We're going to make sure I give you the news because I like I like what he's doing. He said he's stepping up and, and let, letting the world know that he's willing to support, you know, the sport of MMA. And, and, and I see I see big things, man. You see he got apps coming out. He's in seven locations. His brother ain't playing. So, like I said, men who are serious deserves a serious conversation because it is what it is. Once again, this is Coach D. Do what I'm doing. Give me the best stories. Give me the best interviews. Make sure you know what's going on in the sport of MMA. You hear from me again? Peace out.